Hello and welcome to my big guide about dream horses in Black Desert Online. Content in video will be horses T9 and T10, how they look and skills, daily and weekly quests, old moon racing, many ways to get every material for Zenzer, my attempts to get dream. Showcases will start with Titan Ardona, Aka Pegasus. Difference with T9, he can fly on one spot and extra jump flight in air that very helpful to correct flight and jump on some high terrains. And same as T9, he can glide down from heights. Moving on to T9 Doom. He have very strong frontal pulse attack that can knock from horse people. Can carry your friend. Third speed boost charge that damage nearby enemies. Very fast horse. This is photo of tier 10. T10 can summon two clones that can be right by party or guild members up to 5 people. Better third sprint. An extra frontal medium range attack. Tier 9 Dine, Aka Unicorn. Have defensive buff and can run in desert. This is photo of tier 10. Tier 10 Dine can shortly walk on water. First weekly and daily quests is Liana. Main resource is Royal Fernroot and Mythical Feathers. She offer you two daily quests and two weekly quests. The goal of first quest is to capture and register Wild Horse in stable. Second quest asks you to bring to Liana Rock the last one, or carrot confit. I made some pictures to help you find spots to catch wild horses for quest.
же Тина как в 3 Weekly Quest for Tier 10 Materials and one is Tier 9 Materials. To complete quests, you need to bring her Old Moon Grand Prix Coins from Race. On average, it took me around half an hour to get 70 racing coins for all quests. Last weekly quest you can receive from Old Wisdom 3, Stable Keeper Varia. Go to bring back Wings of Ascension. All materials for Wings you can gather near in the one step. If you struggle with gathering powder, you can exchange 60 Golden Imperial Seals for powder and buy materials from Central Market.
This chapter will be about materials that can be hard to get. There will be time marks in the description for each boss, maps, gathering, mining, imperial delivery resources. For mythical feathers you can hunt field bosses. Here spawn random during the day. If you saw sign on top of the screen, or someone in your guild or community write about spawn, you can write to Pech's location or play stun. To Vala gear will be enough to fight the boss. Nose will spawn 5 minutes later after Pech's death. Same for tree with Nose death. There will be big Google table with all materials, pictures, info where to get materials and calculations for Old Moon Sensor price. A link for table will be in description. Map spawn randomly during the day. Same sign on top of screen as here. After you kill first mod, film boss, in Glish Ruins, it will spawn immediately in next Fogon or Lizard zone. After second man dies, in 5 minutes, Kashwark will spawn near Shira Ruins in Drigan. Black Shadow is the field boss that spawns Saturday 3 pm. After each kill, there will be a sign on top of screen where she moving. Following hint will lead you to pillar of light shining from sky. On top of it, you can see flying Black Shadow. After a short period of time, she will fly down, fight with you. And after her death, Again, sign where to run, another fight, and again until you saw sign that she disappearing in skies. Rao Rao is a hunting boss in Axion. This spawn randomly during the day. To be able to loot him, you need to shoot with hunting rifle. He can drop Red Earth Bloodstone that can be exchanged for mystical feathers. Often is the world boss. He has direct time to spawn depends on your time zone. Some resources in internet have timers for world bosses spawn. I will leave Garmat link in description where you can check timers.
Last bosses that drop feathers is rift bosses. They have less than 7 days time spawn. Clicking on icon in right bottom corner and then on arrow icon will lead you to the fight. Just mining material will be platinum. I will show you some secret spots where you can place your tune together time to time. Agris work on this platinum. Switching channels will help you to gather more. On the left side of screen you can see map locations of resources. Or you can dig in Pilgrim's Haven right to Sun Grind Bazaar. With 2k mastery I get around 800. Platinum O in one hour. Agris won't work. Platinum is rare material. Same with my tin rotations.
This is first of all rotation. To help see where they at, I recommend to summon pet that show resource locations and keep only mining axe in two slot. Pet will light up spots. Agris will work.
this teen rotation near a giant outpost I use when there is none on central market and I need some. Agris work on tin, but not on platinum.
this rotation all the people to gather Pantina O. Fruit of Enchantment and Everlasting Herb is rare materials from herb gathering. Agris don't work on them. I know two good rotations.
Lover of Oblivion is reward from trading level at 15 plus horses as Imperial Trade to Stable Keeper. Quantity depends on host tier. I level up my horses in wagon during night time. And the last chance to obtain resources for tier 10 is Imperial Steed. It is very rare horse from breeding. After you level up to 15 and sell to Imperial Trade, you will get box with amazing rewards. That was all my knowledge about tier 10, materials and where to get them. I shot in this video, moving my attempts in second part. Enjoy! See you in next guides.